Hi, in this video we're going to talk about binary operations, and let's look at a definition. A binary operation denoted star on a set S is a function mapping S cross S into S. And this may seem a little bit wordy and hard to understand at first, but actually you've been using binary operations most of your life without even knowing it. For example, addition on the set of integers is in fact a binary operation. So first thing to notice here is that a binary operation is always defined on a set S. We can never have a binary operation on its own. Second thing to notice is that a binary operation is a function, mapping S cross S into S. So anytime you have a binary operation, it has to map the ordered pairs in S cross S back into the set S. This definition can break down into two conditions that will help you decide if a function is in fact a binary operation on a set S. Let's look at these conditions. First condition is that exactly one element is assigned to each possible ordered pair of elements in S. And this condition is really just making sure that it's in fact a function. Because remember a function maps one element to another element, so it can't map one element to two different elements. The second condition says that for each ordered pair of elements of S, the element assigned to it is again in S. Let's look at an example. Earlier I said that addition is a binary operation on the set of integers. So let's look at this. And remember that the set of integers is a set of whole numbers. So 0, negative 1, 1, 2, these are all elements in the set of integers. So this binary operation would have an element a, B, and this is in the set of integers cross the integers, and this just means that A and B are both integers. And what the function does is it takes this ordered pair A, B, and it sends it to A plus B. This is our function. So let's look at the two conditions and see if addition does in fact satisfy them. Number one says that we need each ordered pair to get sent to only one element. So what does that mean? That means that if we have any ordered pair A, B, and this gets sent to a plus b, that means that this is a plus b is the only element it's getting assigned to. For example, if somehow it got sent to another element, a minus b, or anything else over here that's different than the first element, then this would no longer be a function. So we can't have that, and in fact we don't have that, so condition 1 is satisfied. Now let's look at condition 2. Condition 2 says that a, b, where a and b are both integers, gets mapped to a plus b, and it says that a plus b must also be an integer. So if there are any integers a and b where a plus b is not an integer, we can't have this as a binary operation. But we do have that if a is a whole number, b is a whole number, a plus b is always a whole number, so a plus b is always an integer. So this does satisfy condition 2. And this tells us that addition is in fact a binary operation on the set of integers. Let's look at a different function. Let's try and see if division is a binary operation on the set of integers. So this would map the ordered pair a, b into a divided by b. Condition 1 is satisfied because any element a, b gets mapped to a divided by b and it doesn't get mapped to any other element over here. So this is satisfied. Condition 2 tells us that a, b, which gets mapped to a divided by b, and we need a divided by b to be an element, again, in the set of integers. But if we look at this, for example, 2, comma 3, this gets mapped to 2 third. And 2 third is no longer a whole number, so this is not an element in the set of integers. And in fact, any ordered pair where b is not equal to 1, this will not hold for. So this tells us that division is not a binary operation on the set of integers. Let's try division on the set of rationals. And remember the set of rationals includes all the integers and all the elements a divided by b where a and b are both integers. So again this function mapping sends a comma b to a divided by b and one is satisfied just like before. Condition two we have a b sends it to a divided by b, where a and b are now rationals, and we need a divided by b to also be a rational. So now if we took the element 2 comma 3, this would get sent to 2 third, and 2 third is actually a rational number, so this one is satisfied. 
but let's look at 2 comma 0. 0 is a rational number and so is 2, so this is definitely a rational ordered pair. But 2 divided by 0 has 0 in the denominator, which we cannot have, so this is no longer a rational number. And because of this, division is not a binary operation on the set of rationals. Now let's try to have division, and let's try to think of a set where division would be a binary operation. Remember, we can't have 0 here. So what does that tell us? Maybe we could look at the set, I'll call the rational numbers star, and this denotes the set of all rational numbers backslash zero. And this just means all rational numbers minus this zero element. So all non-zero rational numbers. And we would still have the function mapping a comma b to a divided by b, where a and b are non-zero rational numbers. One is again satisfied. And now 2, we need a comma b, which gets mapped to a divided by b, and we need this to be a non-zero rational number in order for this to be a binary operation. Well, since these are both non-zero rational numbers, a can never be 0, so this will never be 0, and b can never be 0, so this will never have a 0 in the denominator. So this tells us that this number will always be a non-zero rational number. So in fact, this is a binary operation on the set of non-zero rational numbers. This concludes the introduction to binary operations, and I'll upload another video shortly on some more examples using binary operations.